Today we're visiting Omaha Beach in Normandy, the American Cemetery and the Memorial and the Museum there. If you are ever in Normandy, this is another place to absolutely not skip if you're interested in World War II history. This is the largest one of five landing areas that saw the invasion of Normandy in the early morning hours of June 6, 1944, when Allied troops came across from the English Channel with an invasion force including 7,000 ships and landing craft with over 195,000 combined personnel from eight Allied countries, many of whom did not make it off of these beaches on that dramatic and confusing but ultimately victorious day. There is a lifetime worth of history and commentary that has already been done about this place and you can and should go look up the importance and history of this monumental beach and what was done here it was so moving to be here where so many brave young men gave everything to fight the enormous force of evil in the world in their time and i actually often find myself wondering what that amazing generation would think of how things have turned out since that day there is a wonderful memorial museum to walk through before you come out to the beach and the cemetery here. I highly recommend going through it. Allow about an hour to wander the museum before going on out to the cliffs and the cemetery and the memorials out beyond. The cemetery here was established on June 8th of 1944 and it was the first American cemetery on European soil in World War II. It covers 172 and a half acres and contains the graves of 9,387 of America's bravest men. The memorial is a large semicircle colonnade with a reflecting pool. It is beautiful. It includes maps and narratives of the landings. And beyond that is the burial area and a circular chapel. There is also a semicircular garden with the walls of the missing. It's just to the east of the memorials. This has 1,557 names, um, some of whom have since been recovered and they are marked, which I think is a lovely tribute to these heroes. You can continue east from there and see the Normandy Visitor Center that opened in 2007. If you're planning a visit here, there is free parking, I believe, and there's a bit of a walk to the grounds, but then this whole day will be a lot of walking, so wear good shoes. The cemetery is free to walk through. Uh, the museum costs, I believe, around 750 euros, so not too expensive. The pathways down from the cemetery to the beach were closed to the public in 2016, so we were unable to go down to the beaches, unfortunately. But it does stretch for six miles, and there is public access available nearby, so we added that to our bucket list. The things to see if we ever get back to Normandy, we really wanted to walk that actual beach. We did not go into Aromanche, which is the artificial port that was built for the invasion, but definitely make that a stop if you're in the area. But instead we drove on from here, we had a quick lunch along the way, and then we went on to wander out around the other part of the invasion from that day out at Pointe du Hoc, which I will link in a future video. I hope this inspires you to visit this moving and important place in our history. It really puts it into perspective what happened here on that day to walk it and actually look at the beach and see these cliffs and, and imagine that in 1944 this would have been such a different sight. It was very, just very moving to be here and to think of what these young men did here and how brave they were to even just get off the boats on that horrible morning. A really cool story about our trip here when we were there on the 75th anniversary. On our flight home to the U.S., the pilot came on the overhead speaker and announced that a veteran and his wife were on board the plane and that they were being moved up to Delta One at no expense. And they got up and moved to a long round of applause. I hope we all never forget what that generation did for us. To see more of what we did in our Normandy trip, you can check the playlist here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.